September 2001. September 2008. The two greatest stock market meltdowns in modern history, spaced nearly seven years apart to the day, and both tied directly to the last day of the year on the Hebrew calendar, Elul 29. Simple coincidence or something more? Unless you've read Rabbi Jonathan Kahn's runaway bestseller, Mystery of the Shemitah, or his earlier book, The Harbinger, you probably have no idea. September 2015, this September, seven years later. Could history repeat itself on this Elul 29, which falls on September 13th? Are these economic judgments directly linked to America's steamrolling moral decay? And if so, what could this mean for you, your family, and your finances? So why should Americans worry about an ancient Jewish Sabbath tradition? What relevance do the four blood moons and two solar eclipses have on future events? Does it matter that they too occur on Jewish holy days? Could the seven-year cycle of debt forgiveness and clearing the financial books signal an imminent collapse of our debt-based economic system? Does an America that rejects Israel's right to its eternal capital, Jerusalem, and considers nullifying God's biblically inspired plan for traditional marriage deserve anything less than his judgment? Rabbi Khan does more than simply raise questions. In the mystery of the Shemitah, he expands upon his thought-provoking teachings in the Harbinger to provide insightful answers that could mean the difference between blessing and cursing, abundance and want, even life and death for you and your family. There is still time to purchase and digest these life-changing teachings found in the Shemitah, but the clock to September 13th is counting down. We encourage you to check out Rabbi Khan's latest teachings, including stunning prophetic warnings tied to the Shemitah, the blood moons, and other critical end times events at the following YouTube video and on his internet homepage, www.hopeoftheworld.org. Those wanting to receive Jonathan Kahn's daily word of encouragement, an assortment of free gifts, or to become a supporting member of his ministry may also do so at hopeoftheworld.org. Rabbi Khan wishes you and your family shalom. This has been Todd Beasley reporting.